Welcome back friends. Uh, in this video, I want to continue with uh, Desmos Graphing Calculator, which is an online graphing uh, calculator. So you can download the uh, Desmos Graphing Calculator from Google. Just type in uh, Desmos and the apps can be downloaded on your computer. Now it's a great calculator because you can draw different types of graph. You can define the parameters and uh, it can do heaps of things. My focus today is to show you the transformation of a sine graph. So let's start with the basic sine graph. So this is this is the keyboard of Desmos calculator. So you can use these keys. So if you press Y equal, go to function. So this is sine of X. Okay. So. So this is your basic sine graph. So you can move the. So this is by default the calculator draws in radians. So this is one radian. Sorry, one uh, cycle. This is uh, two pi. Two pi is six point two eight. So by default, this is a basic sine graph. So the maximum is one, and the minimum is negative one. Hopefully you know that. So. This is not my focus. I want to show you that you can add parameters to see the transformation or the translation each of the letters or the parameters make. So let me make it say A is say amplitude, A sine say BX, uh, I'll put minus C plus D. Now, I have made a number of videos on these parameters, but I want to show you. Now, each of this letter is a parameter. A is the, A defines or A determines the amplitude. B determines the period or the cycle. C, B and C determines the, the shift or phase shift. And D determines the baseline. So if you click on all, it will give you all the parameters so the amplitude is one here so the period is one so let me make this zero so let me make it zero so let me go up so let me make c zero and d also zero so this will be the basic okay so this is a basic sine graph so this is one period from zero to uh, two pi which is uh, 6.28. So let's see what happens when we change amplitude. Let us make that 2. So it has become, the amplitude has become 2 here. Okay, so this is uh, the distance from the baseline to the maximum or the distance from the baseline to the minimum is called the amplitude. So this has a period of 2 pi, which is 6.28. So if you make it say 3, it will become three times bigger. Okay, so you can also move the slider so, so you can see what's happening. Can you see this amplitude as the amplitude changes? A changes, the height of the curve changes. Okay, so let me make it one again here. Yeah. So let me type in one here, yeah, amplitude of one. What? Let's see what happens when this B changes. So B affects the period. So here B is one. That means one period is of 6.28 or two pi radians. Okay, so if, suppose let me make it two here. Let me make it two here. So what's happening? Within 6.28, so this is 6.28. So this is one cycle. You can say this is pi by four. Okay, now before that, let me make this one to show you the critical points. Let me make it one. Can you see pi by two is at 90, it is uh, one maximum. So this is zero, zero. Okay, this is pi. This is three pi by two. This is two pi. So this is one cycle. Okay, so what happens if you change it to two? It has all the numbers have changed here. So this is one cycle of pi. And in within two, so within two pi, it has got two cycles. Okay. 
So you can also move the slider and see what happens. As you move it, the number of cycles is increasing. Okay. And you can also go the other way, it becomes reflected. Let me make it one again. Okay. Now let's see what happens. Uh, what happens? So this is pi. Yeah. I think, yeah. So what happens when C changes? The C changes, shifts it to the right or left. So let me use the slider. So C changes, the graph moves to the right or left. So that's the phase shift. Okay, so let me again make it Z. Let me make it zero there. And so this is the basic sine graph. Okay, and finally, let me remove this point so that you can see. So this is one cycle from 0 to 2 pi. Now what happens when you change D? D changes the baseline. In this case, the baseline is 0. And when you move this, the graph will go up and down. The baseline will move. Okay, so D changes the baseline. C changes, so let me make it 0 here. Yeah? zero okay again it has become a basic sign graph so let me reiterate so if you move c the graph moves to the right if it becomes positive it moves to the right and if it goes becomes negative it moves to the left okay so again let me make it zero and finally let me again repeat what amplitude does amplitude changes the uh, sorry, A changes the amplitude, it becomes uh, bigger as A changes, okay? And if, let me make it 1, amplitude of 1 is the basic, and then if, if we change B, it changes, it becomes, uh, the frequency basically changes. Number of times it goes in within one cycle, changes. So B changes the frequency of the cycle, a changes the amplitude, C changes whether it goes to the right or left, okay, and D changes whether it goes up or down. Hopefully this video is helpful.